During a 15th biannual leadership lecture in Abuja with team leadership and youth development in Nigeria, the federal government from the Ministry of Women's Affairs reiterates its commitment to working closely with partners towards youth development in Nigeria. Stakeholders said the challenges faced across the world, especially in Africa, Nigerian has confirmed the diagnostic of the primacy of the leadership in dealing with the challenges facing humanity. Here is more in this report from Captain Correspondent Navis Ako. Many scholars and commentators are of the view that leadership failure is one of the major factors responsible for the underdevelopment of Africa. This is born out of the belief that Africa's renaissance cannot be realized if adequate investment is not made on the youth who constitute about 60% of Africa's population. Many Nigerians have complained about the government not really embracing the youth as a central factor in its development effort. Hence the commitment of the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Pauline Tallinn. It is worthy to note that youth development is a process that prepares a young person to meet the challenges of adolescence and adulthood and achieve his or her full potentials. I promise to work closely with all partners to help youth achieve their potentials. Stakeholders say, apart from ceremonial recognition from successive government, the need to make youth development the central focus of national development is important. Unfortunately, in Nigeria, the government has not really embraced the youth as a central factor in its development efforts. Successive governments, apart from mere ceremonial recognition of the youth as leaders of tomorrow, have not articulated concrete policies for youth mobilization as a necessary tool for good governance and development. This neglect has not only created gap between the youths and the older generation who are currently in leadership position, but has led to several concerns and unrest by the youths. We must also admit that we have a leadership crisis and we can no longer shy away or play ostrich from this daunting reality that continues to stare us in the face. The leadership vacuum that we have in Nigeria is partly responsible for where we are as a nation today, including our own culpability as citizens. Hence, the critical imperative of leadership grooming and development. And you, you, and you have taken that first step towards transformational leadership. However, it is said that leaders can be trained, hence the involvement and participation of youth in the development agenda, debate, and decision-making processes in the continent. Nigerian citizens need to wake up to our responsibility. Government does not function because it wants to function. It functions because the people are pleased they demand on it. If the system is failing and we keep quiet and just complain, the system will not care that we are complaining. So we have good policies, like you said, good policies. Implementation is a challenge. And the only way to get the government, because it's, it's not the, the, like they don't have it. So the, the missing link is the demand part on the system to implement the policies that have been made. And I think that is where Nigerian youth have a major role to play. You say my calling youth, my calling youth. We are the majority of the population. We have a longer time to stay in this world. If we don't take action now, we will be those who live longer with the flaws and faults in the system today. The need for the youth to emerge in leadership positions was mentioned, as it was stated that it is important for the government to reflect the society, not as a takeover, but a system that promotes intergenerational leadership structures. From Abuja, Mavis Ako, Captain TV News.